Hi, boys and girls. Today we get to do one of my favorite stories for astronomy, the exploration of the moon. Are you ready? Let's go. First, before we start the story, we need to talk a little bit about some words we need to know. All of these words will be pretty easy when you hear them in our story, so we're going to just go over them really fast. First word is determined. Determined means you are committed to making something happen. An example of this is I walked fast because I was determined to get to school on time. Next word you're going to hear in our story is disaster, a sudden terrible event. The tornado was a disaster for our town. Our next word you're going to hear in our story is historic, famous, or important in history. An example of this, the day representatives from the 13 colonies signed the Declaration of Independence was a historic day. Missions is a word you're going to hear in our story, and that's special jobs. An example of this, my dad said we needed to complete our missions of cleaning the house and car before we could play. And the last word you're going to hear in our story, that's one of our special words for today, is nervously. Nervously means that you're feeling worried. An example of this is my grandmother watched her favorite team's football game nervously. Couple things to remember is the space race. Remember the space race is going on right now when we talk about this time in history between the United States and Russia was the first country. They launched the first object into space and it was a satellite named Sputnik 1. The first astronauts were launched into space. They orbited around the Earth and landed back on Earth. The very first astronauts that went up into space, boys and girls, didn't land on the moon. They just went up into space, went around the Earth, and came right back down. Today, we are going to learn about the first astronauts that visited the moon. The very first astronauts to visit the moon. I want you to think about that for a minute. Let's begin our story. Listen carefully to hear the steps the scientists took to find out what the trip would be like before sending astronauts to the moon. This, this was the president of the United States many years ago. In 1961, the President of the United States, John F. Kennedy, announced that the United States would send astronauts to the moon within 10 years. This seemed impossible to many people, but President Kennedy and the NASA scientists were determined to succeed. Thus, they started the Apollo program in order to send people to the moon. But there was a lot of work to be done before anyone could get anywhere near the moon. Surveyor 1 was the first spacecraft Americans sent to the moon. But it was an unmanned spacecraft, that is, a spacecraft without any people on board. The purpose of Surveyor 1 was to survey or study the moon's surface. It carried equipment to study the land, temperature, and other things NASA scientists needed to know before sending people to the moon. This information would help answer questions about what they would discover when they did get to land on the moon. The Apollo program involved many missions or jobs that needed to be done to accomplish what they wanted to do. The first mission, Apollo 1, was a disaster. The spacecraft caught on fire before they had a chance to launch it. But after that, however, the Apollo scientists had many successes. First, there were unmanned missions to test various rockets and systems. This picture shows Apollo 4, an unmanned mission to test a rocket engine. 
This is the type of engine that would eventually carry men to the moon. Next came manned missions, or missions with people. But these astronauts did not get to go to the moon. Instead, they were practicing and testing equipment to make sure everything would work perfectly. This photo shows the crew of Apollo 7 mission. Finally, on July 16, 1969, Apollo 11 was launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There were three astronauts on board, Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin. This picture was taken shortly before they went on their historic mission. It took four days for Apollo 11 to travel 239,000 miles from Earth to the moon. During the launch, the astronauts were sitting in the very top of the rocket. Once it reached outer space, the part they were sitting in broke off from the rocket and continued on toward the moon. The rocket was not needed once the ship reached outer space. Michael Collins was the pilot for the command module, which drove the lunar module close to the moon but did not actually land there. The lunar module, called the Eagle, was attached to the command module during the journey from Earth to the moon. Once they got close enough to the moon, however, the Eagle broke off from the command module and landed on the surface. The command module orbited the moon as Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong descended or went down towards the surface of the moon. This is Mission Control, where NASA scientists on the ground talk to and help astronauts in space. Meanwhile, as the Eagle approached the surface, hundreds of scientists back at Mission Control were watching their computers nervously to make sure everything went as planned. There is little room for error or mistakes in space travel. The NASA scientists monitored every single part of the ship, making sure every fuse and wire was working properly. At the same time, people all over America were glued to their television sets watching the news, also nervously waiting to see what would happen. The Eagle was equipped with television camera, so everyone back home could see and hear everything that was happening 239,000 miles away on the moon. The moon landing excited people all over the world. Remember, the space race with the Soviet Union, the United States was the first country in the world to send people to the moon. It took longer than expected, but finally, Neil Armstrong announced the famous words, the eagle has landed. Great sighs of reliefs and cheers went up from Mission Control and in living rooms across America. Next, Neil Armstrong prepared to leave the Eagle and step out onto the moon. This picture shows what Americans back home saw on their television sets. As you can see, the picture was not very clear, but if you look closely, you can see Armstrong about to set foot on the moon's surface. Armstrong stepped down and landed on the fine, soft dust of the moon's surface. With his first step, he said, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. He meant that he himself had taken a small step from the eagle's ladder onto the moon, but that step represented a huge leap in terms of the advances humans had made by landing on the moon. Buzz Aldrin followed Armstrong down the ladder. Both astronauts wore special spacesuits designed to endure the harsh temperatures on the moon's surface. The astronauts conducted experiments to help future astronauts and scientists. The first thing they noticed was their mobility or how different it felt to walk and move around. The moon has very little gravity compared to Earth. Here on Earth, when you jump up, 
you come straight back down. Not so on the moon. When you hop on the moon, you stay up for a few seconds and calm down rather slowly. The astronauts collected samples of the moon's dust and rocks. Then they planted an American flag on the moon's soil. Explorers often plant flags to claim the new land for their home countries. They had prepared the flag beforehand by inserting wires in it so it would be firm but appear to be waving even though there is no wind on the moon. Five more Apollo missions landed successfully on the moon after that first mission. In the end, the Apollo astronauts brought back a total of 842 pounds of moon rocks. Many of these rocks are on display in museums around the world. Apollo 17, launched in 1972, was the last mission to reach the moon. Nobody has returned to the moon since. That is bound to change as humans continue to explore outer space. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed hearing about how we have traveled to the moon and the first moon landing. Enjoy the rest of activities today.